The Turks and Caicos Islands Bar Association say they had nothing to do with it and have relinquished any fault on their part when News 4 contacted the president of the association, Carlos Simons, on Tuesday regarding the reported closure of some local law firms who were mentioned in the Commission of Inquiry's final report. Simons told News 4 that the Bar Association is not responsible for any possible shutdown and further recommended that they did not take any actions against any lawyers who were mentioned in the final report of the Commission of Inquiry. In a press release sent to News 4 yesterday, the council notes that, quote, the Bar Council acknowledges the weaknesses identified by the commissioner and fully accepts the necessities for the reforms that he has recommended. Indeed, as early as 2002, the council, then under the leadership of Mr. Richard Savory, proposed changes to the legal profession ordinance that were intended to address some of these weaknesses, end quote. The council is currently working with the Attorney General's Chamber in an effort to add reform and said that they regret that the proposed changes never actually made it to the statute books. The council has formulated its own recommendations to be used as drafting instructions, which can be used by a legal drafts person engaged by the council to produce a first draft of an amended ordinance. The chief justice will be consulted on the proposed changes. The council noted that they regard this work as urgent and should be drafted within months. Quote, the bar council is not overlook the particular mentions made by the commissioner of named attorneys. However, at this stage and in light of matters which may follow, it would not be appropriate for the council to make public comments in this regard, end quote. Chalmers Mizik, brother of former Premier Honorable Mizik, told News 4 that this report is untrue and that he is not closing down his company or downsizing.